So hello everybody, welcome back. I hope that you like this series. I haven't done it in a while. Um, but you know, I have been keeping up with the videos. I was taking a mental break for about, you know, three weeks or so. And then I actually got sick and a lot of things happened. So thank you for the understanding and the patience for, um, you know, if you like this series and I haven't done it for a while. But anyway, <clears throat> so. Grab your coffee and wait no longer for uh, the topics that I think are missing um, on TV series about hard times, zombie apocalypse or whatever it is because I do like uh, zombie um, series and movies and things like that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very picky though. Uh, if I don't like it from, you know, very soon or something like that, then I will leave it. Um, and... Um, I wanted to um, talk to you about those things so that you might be able to understand real life versus, you know, uh, an scenario that is very uh, weird. However, always remember that um, real life is always going to exceed uh, fiction in terms of, you know, things making sense, quite frankly life does not make sense at all and if you are trying to make sense out of it life will try to make sense out of you and so here we go and remember if you wanted to share a coffee with me while you're at it or take a look at any of my books including the one that i have about zombies links for that down below and here we go so one of the first things that i noticed is that Cars do not look like the right age or style or the coloring or um, it, it just, you know, cars being cars. So let me explain this. <clears throat> During uh, hard times, you know, when, when people start realizing that there is no fuel and there is no more batteries for the cars, and there is no more tires and there is no more fluids for the car fluids meaning the brake fluid the oils the filters and all of those things what do you think is going to happen when cars are actually a main and i do mean main need if you do not have your car i have mentioned this before I don't care if you have food in your house, if you do not have a car or you do not have a way to move around, you are a sitting duck. And not only that, but you are going to have so many issues. The list is literally endless. You will have more than a hundred problems if you cannot move around. And, um, and, and you know, this will be in a daily basis. Uh, 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 because even if you have the ability to bunker in for a long time, you will still, you know, have access. You will still need to look for information. You will still need to look for fuel or other things that are perishable, like vegetables or fruits or whatever, even if you have a garden. And the worst part is how exactly are you going to get water without having some sort of fuel for the pump or without having some sort of way of transporting the water and some sort of way to get the water. So, no, uh, cars are extremely important and they are a, 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 a big need. And when cars, you know, you realize that your car is useless because, you know, you don't find a tire, you know, people will resort to stealing them from other cars. And so when you have an, a, an apocalypse in which you can see that people left the cars or whatever, I go kind of like, yeah, but eventually you will get a new car or eventually you will find a way to, get, you know, get out of the car. And that car is also going to need spare parts. And if you have a sitting place that has a lot of cars, of course, that place is unmined. You know, you can get all kinds of spare parts from those cars. So um, the fact that you can see that no one stole the batteries. Uh, that, that for me was like seriously no no batteries in, in the it, it, no <laughs> that one is like a thing and and you know and and not only uh, do, do you know it, it's like 
the, the the people will not, you know, the cars did not show that people will t take the tires, will people will take everything. And not only that, but the cars, when they get, you know, uh, certain times, they will have the windows broken. Um, they, they will have different decoloring, especially because birds are not going to stop being birds. And I'm going to tell you what happens. Um, birds poop on top of the cars all over and and this is like a thing if you have a car you already know that one and you know this will also decolor cars and uh, you know it, it's not just that so whenever i see you know cars that are in the in the movies they don't seem to have uh the the, the look or 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 the how to pull it the the feeling uh, of being right so cars are not portrayed properly in any movies people think okay people left the cars and they are intact they have the tires no even if you don't have the tires for um you know uh making uh making it as a spare part for other tires you will still get the tires for gardening for um you know uh making uh, exercises there there is a couple of people that I know that will take the tires, put it in the in the floor, or sometimes they will, you know, even anchor it towards the wall, because you can actually use it for, um, you know, fisting it, like, you know, heating it a long time to, because it, it's it's like, it's like a rubber, but it's very very strong, and you can test, you know, it's sort of like like a boxing thing. Or, or even when you're st when you're stepping on it, you know it, it will it, it can help you with your legs and is is extremely good exercises for kicking and and very weak legs and things like that. So there are a couple of people that I have known that do that. Actually, I am trying to get that so that I can do it myself. And um, you know there are over a thousand <laughs> you know usages for tires and people will steal them just for that one. So, especially if there is a zombie apocalypse, because you can take all the tires and then you can even put a wall, you know, in there and, and, and it's going to be easy, easier. And so, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know, and, and it doesn't even look the right age of a style. You know, it's sort of like uh, the apocalypse happened in the, year, in the early 2000, but the cars that you see in, in the road are 2010. And you're like, what? That car was up in 2010. Why is this movie, you know, showing that the car is there even though the, 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 the disaster happened in the year 2000? So, you know, people that know about cars, they go kind of like, what? That car is not supposed to be there. You know, unless you're telling me that the car time traveled to that thing. So, you know, it's a thing. The cars are not there. And then the next one is... No one has stomach issues. No one has diarrhea. No one has pain in their stomach. No one is, you know, no one has their stomach growling because you are hungry. No one has, you know, um, is hiccups all the time or uh, no one is, um, you know, wanting to throw up. No one seems to have, you know, uh, medicine. Quite frankly, you know, it, if you were going to, to go to a zombie apocalypse, every single time that you see these things, you know, throughout the first time until your mind sells, you're probably going to throw up. You are also probably uh, going to have pain in your stomach all the time because whenever you are scared, three things will happen. You will lose control of your pee, meaning you will pee yourself. You will lose control over your poop, meaning you will poop yourself. And you will also uh, have a lot of pain in your stomach and y you will be kind of like, I want to throw up, I can't eat, I can't, you know, and, and, and you will need medicine, by the way. And people that have pain in their stomach, you know, it's bad. And then you have issues about eating, you know, eating things that, you know, are probably uh, fermented, uh, eating things that you are not used to eating. And you're telling me that not one of these things is affecting your stomach, your your diarrhea, your your things. You know, I understand that they have to keep it, you know, uh, likable. But 
if you're going to make this thing, then at least, I don't know how to put it, mention it or put it there or at least, you know, pass medicine to the, to the people because uh, during bad times, the, one of the top 10 things that people will look for the most will be anti-acids. Oh, and by the way, anti-acids will just disappear for a very long time. You know, we uh, there was a time in which we couldn't find antiacids for uh, two, two or three years. So at this point, you are absolutely taking baking soda, uh, you know, for, for your stomach. And you will also be taking uh, baking soda. Most people will take it with lemon. You are not supposed to mix those two at the same time, but people will do it anywhere. And, uh, you know, and then the, there are theories about whether you should take it with the lemon or not take it with the lemon and things like that. So it's up to you to decide because, you know, I'm not here to tell you I'm not a doctor or anything like that. But I'm going to tell you that a lot of people will swear by that thing. Or at least, you know, um, most people will absolutely look for uh, the, the fruit salts uh, or any, oh my God, those are like, like, like nine out of ten. You know, in terms of um, effectiveness for, for pain in your stomach and things like that. And, and it's one of those things that people will go, ah, ah, really, and even trade for it or whatever. Because, you know, it, it, it's a thing. And this is not even mentioned. It's like, okay, we are going through a hell, but our bodies are perfect. And we are, you know, immune and we don't have pain and we don't have a stomach and our stomach is made of steel and things like that. No, that does not happen. And when everybody else has diarrhea or you have diarrhea, you, uh, yeah, not a pretty topic, but at least somehow it should be there, you know? And then the other one is uh, uh, no arguments about evacuation. Oh my God, this one I was kind of like, no, the, the, this is not uh, enough. And, and the thing is that uh, men evacuating a place is not the same as a woman evacuating the place. Um, you see, uh, when, when women are taking a look at things, they are looking at the whole thing and they are looking at a very complex thing. Men look at it very simple, very specific, and they just go kind of like put the things in the car we're leaving. The woman will go, no, because I need to know where we're going, uh, what are we going to need there because I'm not going to go there to just you know, sleep on the floor with the rats, you know, and, and things like that. And so uh, th th there is not, you know, in, in this series, uh, there is not enough uh, uh, emotional input into uh, the, 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 the lookout at, at the evacuation plant. Yes, women will follow all uh, the men that are strong and will put absolutely no, uh, no problem in, into following them. However, if the man does not make it clear that, he, that there is a plan and that plan, you know, is sort of like we are not going to sleep on the floor with the rats, um, then you will have a lot of resistance from the other side. And not only that, but it, it you know, it, it, they are not fighting about uh, where to go. Because you see, if there is a group of you know 20 people each one of these people will have a family and they will also probably you know let's say that you are in the middle of the country of the u.s and you have people that have family in new york so one side of the country but then you have other people that have family in california so if you are evacuating your area some people will want to go towards you know new york and the other people will want to go towards california but you will have these with the 20 people and unless you have a clear route as in no we are not going to evacuate you know uh to towards new york or california because our goal is to get here you know like uh let's say we're going to washington because that is where we're going you know then because washington is the one that has this and this and this and that then, you know, you will have issues because most people will refuse to leave their family. I mean, seriously, most people will refuse to leave their family because even if you hate your family, they're still family. 
and uh, you know and, and and this is also a thing about you know uh, not leaving the school or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend or 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 having to choose because so let's say that uh you know you are a teen and your your boyfriend is going to new california because his family decided to go to california but your family decided to go to new york and then you're like i'm not leaving my boyfriend and your boyfriend is sort of like i'm not leaving you so what do you do you know because they're teens and um when you have teens and you have your husband or your or or or, or your partner that is in the other way you are not going to evacuate altogether and so this will create friction especially because right now i can tell you that you know it, it's a huge thing uh, you know this this topic because it, it, it your decisions are going to be highly and I do mean like 9 out of 10 times, you will follow whatever everybody else is doing, they, regardless of you being the leader, you being the one that says the rules or whatever, and you will do it because you cannot be, uh, you know, uh, separated out of everybody. If you're your husband, the, the guy in the in the family, and every single you know, and you are a very strong man, and everybody follows you and all the time and things like that, but you get an emergency, and your wife's you know finally says no, you are going to have a huge issue because this might be the first time ever in which your 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 family is saying no to you, or it might be the other way. Your family is asking you to leave and you do not want to. And so you will need to step, you know, put your foot down. And once you put your foot down, you're going to have friction with everybody else, particularly with teens who will do whatever they want. And by the way, you can't do a lot about it. So, you know, this is going to be a thing. And, and this thing is never explored. And this you will, you will be able to find, you know, throughout history books, throughout people that flee out of nowhere when they have to go into war and things like that. I mean, there are people that will do, you know, in the, in the world, in the war, they will just come back home because they, can't, they, they need to have even a clue about what happened to their families. So even if they are bombarding a city, people will be trying to get in there just to try to get a look at what happened to my dog, what happened to my family, and things like that. So this is not, you know, uh, you know, portrayed the way that it should be. Um, and this is going to be your biggest issue. That's why, you know, I, I wrote the, the zombie book in which I, I try to explain to you that um, you need a plan that, uh, you know, as to how to deal with all of these things because you are dealing with the zombies which are, which are external, but the internal problems, um, because obviously men and women are different, are not portrayed properly and the, um, the, 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 um, the effects about your priority shifting are not portrayed properly in series either. You know, it's sort of like you're thinking, oh my god, I'm doing only these to survive. No, especially if you're a woman and if you are near women, you are not doing that. Uh, and, if, and even if you have kids, you know, you're not doing that. And that's why, you know, 9 out of 10 men we will collapse because you will need an extremely strong mind to overcome problems. And that's why, you know, uh, women will, will, will react entirely different and then they will be on their own and this is going to create huge friction between men and women because... If men start to collapse, women will also start to collapse. And once they do it, you know, women cannot collapse the way that men do it. If you are a man and you collapse, you go homeless and you can do whatever. But if a woman collapses, she cannot do that because she probably has her kids and she cannot abandon the kids. And so she, she will collapse differently. And, and even our mental breakdown and, and, and our emotions are going to be entirely different because our, our priorities are not the same. If you're the guy and you want to leave, you know, because you can't take it, you leave. But women are different. And, and most women are like, I can't leave. I have my kids or I have these and, you know, and, and, and I have more responsibilities and, and I have uh, and my ties are more emotional ties. And so they are stronger ties. They are harder to break than men's. Men's, yeah, I don't care how I feel. I, I'm just not going to do this. I'm, I'm on my head. I put my foot down. I'm leaving, you know, sort of like that. And so the whole thing is not uh, portrayed properly 
in 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 uh, any series or or TV thing or whatever. It's sort of like, yeah, you're the guy, so I'm following you. <laughs> yeah, right. Or yeah, you like it? No. Or yeah, you're you are my father, so I'm going to respect you. No. Or or yeah, no. I mean, the best that they can come up with is that when the team go and they didn't go, stay here. Five minutes later, you come back home and they are, the team goes. Oh yeah, I went home. To, I went another place because I was looking for this or that, and I made my own choice. And now you gotta fix it. You know, kind of like that. But try to multiply that by ten because it's not just your team; it's also going to be everything. And so you know, and and, and a woman will look at it like, Ugh! and a man will look at it like, seriously, why does not anyone respect me? Why doesn't everybody, you know, just pay attention to me? I know what I'm doing, right? Kind of like that. So this is not, you know, portrayed like that. And then there are no cramps when people are running. It's like, seriously. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now. I want you to, you know, and I don't want you to actually do it. I just want you to figure your, yourself this in your head. I want you to start running. Like, get up right now and start running. Right. So what happened to your leg? You know, unless you are in Africa, you know, you are probably not going to be able to, to, to support a lot of your muscles. The reason for this is because you lack magnesium. And 99% of people in the world, unless you are in Africa, lack magnesium. And the reason why you, if you are in Africa, you will probably not have this issue as much as everything else is because in Africa, the soil has a lot of magnesium because they have a lot of volcanoes and things like that. And even in Japan, they still have, you know, this issue that they do not have enough magnesium. And if you do not have enough magnesium, you will have cramps when you're running. And I don't care if you are the strongest, fastest, you know, uh, sport guy or girl or whatever, you know, you are still going to face lack of magnesium. And you're still going to face cramps. And especially if it, it you know, if the apocalypse or, or whatever has been going on for about a month or two months or whatever. Even if you are young, there are people who are ex swimmers and they just you know drown the reason being they can't move their legs sorry about that I get a lot of interruptions as you probably already know <laughs> because if you have been watching my channel yeah so <clears throat> anyway I was saying that um, even people who know how to swim and they are experts in swimming and things like that they still get drowned because they, they will have like a electricity in their in their legs and they can't move it and um, it, it's uh, partially is because of lack of magnesium and like I said you know um, people in the African continent have more magnesium on average than the rest of the planet so if you are on the other side then you might need to take supplements for magnesium and you might need to take supplements for other stuff other stuff that are um, health related uh, things and I will be talking about it later in other videos and as always I'm not a doctor so you need to ask them about this thing but if you start running or training and things like that you will have cramps it's sort of like uh, you know even muscles above other muscles and things like that and it's because of lack of proper nutrition and this is not represented at all especially considering that you're running all the time <laughs> And, you know, it's like you are sitting, you're eating, and there is a zombie attack, run! Yeah, and you have no cramps, no one has a cramp. Right. So, <clears throat> next one is, no fighting between people that will not leave. Oh my god. <laughs> this one is sort of like the same topic as the evacuation one, but this one is a little bit different because... People that will leave, you know, uh, will have making a choice, but people that will stay have also making a choice. And we all have something called regrets. And so, you know, uh, the, the regret part is not being uh, portrayed properly in any of the series that I have seen. 
um, you know, more than half of the people will, will always regret things. And when you have regrets, you will act differently. You might be kind of like a undercover rage or undercover uh, things for your emotions. And the, this is a thing. And by the way, you know, if you have met someone who is always like crampy, you know, or, or somebody who is always kind of like insecure and things like that, it's because people have regrets, but they do not have to, de they do not know how to deal with regrets. Most of us, you know, we just don't know how to deal with emotions. And, you know, and, 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 and for all I know, you might have regrets and you do not know about it. And since you don't know, know then you don't know what is bugging you. And then you are, you know, um, susceptible to, to uh, be, you know, like, what's wrong with you, kind of like that. So, you know, all of these things are not being portrayed properly. And that was, that was it. I hope that this video was somewhat helpful to you. And um, remember that if you want me to continue any of this series, just let me know in the comment section. And um, because I do have, you know, a lot of reproduction list. And so, you know, and I do try to take priority on the ones that people say, hey, I like this one. So... Thanks for staying tuned. See you again soon.